good morning and what's going on y'all lockout men in the truck on the 30. That's true, mm -hmm. but yeah of course you lie sit there and organize try to be more than just host um thinking you sort of tight because someone wrote you lines thinking you whores have got flow <laughs> no you can record the lies Give me what is up how y'all doing today man oh man oh man long day yesterday yesterday was a long day and i still <laughs> got a long day today but that's trucking right that is trucking for your ass well a hey, today's on the 30 is something of difference you know what i'm saying i want you guys to know that i am here for you yes you have questions I got answers. Now, I'm I'm not going to try and be like Mr. Know-it-all or this trucking guru or this this trucking messiah. I'm not. I'm just I'm just your average truck driver out here, just like everybody else. You know, when I get experience, I want to share my experience. You know what I'm saying? Especially for new people that's coming into this game. You know this trucking industry is it's fickle now. With many trucking companies closing every day, many trucking companies over here beating drivers up, many trucking companies over here trying not to pay us what we deserve. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's crazy out here. And but still, a lot of you guys want to come into this industry for whatever reason. Is it because you grew up in trucking? Because your financial situation is messed up? Because you want to get away? There's a lot of reasons why you, yes, you, you that's watching this video, yes, you, you want to get into this industry for whatever reason. Mine was the same reasons that you have. Financial, just want to get away, just something to do, and I like doing it. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing first, is that you have to like driving, period. You can't just get into this industry and be like, oh, woe is me. Uh, I, I, I don't like driving, but I'm going to do it anyway. No. If you don't like driving, then you're not going to like. If you don't like driving, then you're not going to like this industry. I, I spoke, what, yesterday or something like that? I spoke I spoke in another video about your sleep. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have the, your sleep pattern is going to get all messed up. You know what I'm saying? It's going to it's going to switch. It's going to just be all discombobulated. You're not going to get the kind of sleep that you're used to sleeping. You're not going to get it. And I spoke about that yesterday. So when you come up into this industry, it's like I say you got to have a strong mind and a strong body because if you don't have a strong body you're not going to be able to drive you know just getting your cdls is just going to be like oh okay i just gotta got my cdls but if you don't have your dot uh certificate then what you won't be able to drive yo just saying i'm just saying like i said before that's all i am i'm, I'm just a truck driver out here that likes to give out trucking information now i went flip flop with my channel a few times got dinged a few times and now i'm back to doing what i think you guys want me to do you guys want to know about trucking and other stuff well i'm here to give it to you so i got some questions and some answers from uh well i don't have I, I may not have all the answers but i can find them for you but I do got questions. I, you guys hit me up in my Gmail. You guys hit me up in my DM. And you guys hit me up in the comments. And I'm just going to go over a few. All right. So check this out. Casanova, the one, says, I go to orientation on Monday, October 14th. Oh, in a couple of, in a couple of, in a couple of days, bro. Congratulations. Any advice for a recent CDL grad? I heard J and R can be a bit hard on newbies. Well, look, okay. For starters, I'm not with J and R Schwugel. But but this is the type of questions I get. I get a lot of J and R Schwugel questions because of course majority of you guys know me from J and R Schwugel. But y'all know that I'm well, 
some of you some of you veterans of the channel know that I'm not with JNR Swiggle no more. Some of you may even know who I work for now, but even though I don't say the company name. And let me just say that right quick. Wonder why I don't promote my company like I did JNR Swoogle. Number one, first and foremost, this company is freaking awesome. They do right, right by me. And I'm not just talking about one person. I'm talking about the company as a whole from the president owner all the way down to my fleet manager. I conversate with everybody in the office, everybody from the payroll department, the safety department. Come on. Now you guys remember the only thing good thing I got that I had to say about safety in the past wasn't good, but I got good things to say about safety now with this company. They watches out for the driver. And if you do something like really fucked up, then of course you're gonna suffer that type of consequences. But if you have questions or the safety director that just wanna, you know, chop it up with you, you can do that in this company. That's that's the number one. You know, I don't promote my company. You know what I'm saying? If I talk to you one on one, then yes, I'll, I'll promote my company. And if you're if you're in the area, I may even refer you. But on my YouTube, there's just too many of you guys out there that, you know, some may not like me. Some may think I'm offensive. Some may, you know, just want to get a driver in trouble. I've seen it. I saw it. I don't want to be a part of it. So that's why I don't promote my company. But JNR Schwugel, yeah, I liked the JNR Schwugel. But the problem was, it was a one on one that I didn't realize in this experience that I gained. It was one on one with the fleet manager. I enjoyed my fleet manager there. When he left, that's when things turned into turmoil. And the company as a whole just wasn't right for me no more. All right. So let's just say that. But I do get a lot of JNR Shrugal questions. So any advice for a recent CDL grad? Yo, there's a lot of advice that I can give you. Um, the main advice when you go in because you're going in training with, with a trainer. Now, JNR Shrugal don't have that many trainers. Or at least they didn't have that many trainers when I was there, but I don't know now because you know they 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 merged with another company. But when you get with your trainer, and if it's a good trainer, listen to that guy, pay attention to that guy because he's teaching you the ways of the company and the ways of the truck. Now, unfortunately for JNR Schwugel, it's an automatic fleet, so you're not going to get in the truck with a manual. Um, maybe that's a good thing for you. Maybe that's a bad thing for you. I don't know. But the truck is not a manual. When you come to your trainer, pack light. All right. Don't pack everything in the kitchen sink. Because what you're going to end up being in, you're going to be in the top bunk. And nine times out of ten, your stuff is going to be up in the top bunk with you. Pay attention to what the trainer has to say, if, especially if it's a good trainer. If the trainer uh, knows what he's talking about and training you properly, pay attention to it. Ask questions. Um, let them know how you feel. Get a one-on-one. -on -one. Get a vibe going. All right? Um, is there any more advice I could give you? As far as, as, far as coming with the company, uh, just, you know, try to get a vibe with your fleet manager. Once you once you get a vibe with that fleet manager, then I, I believe everything will be will be copacetic. You probably would get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Get a vibe with them. Uh, anything else? Uh, not none that comes to mind right now. But you said that it can be a bit hard on newbies. I don't know. I haven't been there in a while. Maybe they are hard on newbies. I guess, but if you get in there, do what you're supposed to do and and rock it, then I don't think you'll have any trouble, bro. All right? 
Next question. Next question. Marcus, he says, great video. If you have to choose a company sponsored CDL school, which one would you choose? Marcus, man, I'm going to be totally honest with you. And I'm going to tell you, none. <laughs> none. I Now, at least I did my homework when I came into the game. For real, for real. I did my homework. At least I did my homework with that part when I when I came into the game. I did not want to get with a company sponsor school. I I I called, I found out, you know, through all the company sponsor schooling that wanted you to, you know, come in, they'll train you, they'll give you a job, and they'll pay for your schooling. Well, at that time I came to realize that no, they pay for your schooling, but you pay them back. And you pay them back Maybe some of these companies, not by monetary value, but you pay them back with your with with yourself driving for that company. Some companies want you to drive for them eight months. Some companies want you to drive for them the entire year. Now, suppose you get in there, they give you your license, and you be like, "Oh, okay, well, this company sucks. They ain't paying me worth shit, and I gotta get up out of here." You know what I'm saying? The problem is, once you sign that dotted line, you sign your life on that dotted line, you pretty much stuck. Because now, in 2019, these companies is really shutting down on you guys getting in their company, getting their license, I mean, getting your license through that company, and you jumping somewhere else at a better place. They stopping all of that. Other companies like, like Swift, for example, got hit with a class action lawsuit. And I think it was CRST, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comments below. But they won. <laughs> they won. So now, if you decide to get your license through a company sponsor, a uh, trucking company, you better make damn sure well that that's that company you want to rock with. You know what I'm saying? Personally, my advice my answer to that is save your money. If you have credit, use your credit cards. I mean, I don't want you to use them, but if this is something that you really want to do, <laughs> use your credit cards. Find a grant. If you got unemployment, get, uh, get unemployment. All right? Get unemployment. Because unemployment, they do things too. If you're in the Army, Navy, Air Force, or any type of service, you should automatically have your 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 license through them but if not i believe they got a gib take your time <laughs> and look through these company sponsor schooling if this is if this is your last resort all right next question the ranting cabbie says why is it so hard to get views why is it so hard to get views man i you know what I've been saying that for a long time when I when I started this YouTube thing before it wasn't even about views. I really didn't care about views. I just wanted somewhere to put my put my videos in and be there when I come back to to rewatch them at a later date. But then you guys, you guys started popping up and it was like one subscriber, two subscriber, three subscriber, four. And I'm like I got people watching my videos. Man, what why why are y'all watching my videos? What what am I doing for you to be interested in what I'm doing? Then all of a sudden, I got into trucking. And then boom, my subscriber base exploded. And it's like every I went from I went from like four or five hundred subscribers to maybe like a thousand subscribers in that in that week when I started trucking and then I started to notice like you guys you guys want to know about want to know about what's going on in trucking how about roadside assistance you know what I'm saying I had I got plenty of videos of roadside assistance and if I knew better if I knew what I know now and if I would have incorporated that ten, uh, 10 years ago 
then yeah, I would probably be up there with the Casey Neistats and, and everybody else that has these bigger channels. But as I said before, before I didn't really care about about the subscription and the views because I just wanted somewhere to post, you know, just to put my stock. He goes on to say, because you're not doing makeup tutorials or catering to the trans community or promoting a certain religion with a bunch of lies. Oh, and having big tits while gaming while gaming gets a lots of views. Okay, let's let's break down each each point on what uh what Cabby said. Makeup tutorials. Man, listen. There's a lot of makeup tutorials by men and women. I mean, if you just type in makeup tutorials, you see a lot of views. You got a lot of people that's just watching these these makeup tutorials. Also, on top of that, I was in my feed one day and I seen this young lady do a, a swimsuit haul. And I'm like, okay, let me click on that. I'm a guy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Swimsuits. So this young lady got a lot of views just by just by modeling swimsuits. Like she got on this one piece bikini, this two piece bikini, this, that, and the third. And then all of a sudden it went from there to like hair. Jeez, bro. I mean, I I I thought weaves was a thing back in the day, but man, listen. You you type in hair, female hair virgin hair whatever type of hair on youtube and you see a lot of females putting on hair i mean they like some of these females is like bald as fuck and they put on this this mane that makes them look like a totally different and don't let them make oh man slap on cake on the makeup they look like a totally different person and then when they take all that stuff off you be like yo <laughs> Who the hell are you? So yeah, they get a lot of views. They get a lot of views. Trans community, yo, I'm like this. When it comes to the when it comes to the alphabet community, look, they do their thing. I mean, they do their thing. It's it's a couple of them out here in trucking. Yo, make sure y'all check out Nick and Carla. All right, they got a good ass channel with good ass information. I'm just saying, I fucks with them. You know what I'm saying? You do your thing. I do my thing. I want to put it like that. Uh, promoting a certain religion. I, I don't promote religion at all. All right. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't promote religion at all. I, I it, And that's another good thing, too. That will probably be another good advice when you come into the trucking industry. When you get on the truck with a trainer or another person, you, you're trying to find a way to vibe with them. Don't talk religion. All right. Because politics and religion because their pot, they might be a little bit stronger in their opinions when it comes to politics and religion. So I, I don't talk it at all. Big boobs, yeah, big boobs wins. Big boobs wins, all right? There's a lot of females that's, that's, that does a lot of, that does a lot of niches on YouTube with big boobs and they are winning there's one female in trucking in particular with big boobs and she's winning okay so yeah big boobs win and gaming Pfft. who doesn't like gaming who who doesn't like gaming I, I i i watch gaming channels all the time i am a huge mortal kombat and call of duty fan but that's going to get a lot of views a lot of views so if you're interested in coming into YouTube and, and wondering why you're not getting the boobs, I mean, boobs, <laughs> wonder why you're not getting the views, well, maybe that's why, because you, you haven't touched on maybe one of these niches. But if you do touch on them, trust me, your views and subscriber count will go up. You got to have an idea. You got to have something that people want to hear. You're going to have something that people want to see because YouTube, I learned this a long time ago. YouTube is just basically Google on the visual sense. People come to YouTube and Google to search for something. 
they're not they're not using YouTube now until they until they get hip to YouTube, then yeah, then they're all into it. But before but before YouTube, they'll come in, they'll search, and they'll be like, yo, how to do this, how to do that. Everything that you can possibly think about is on YouTube or it's in it's in Google. Everything that you could possibly imagine is in YouTube, it's on Google. Somebody in YouTube either talked about it, put it together, done it, or whatever. And you're looking for that. How to do this, how to fix that. Where this come from? Where that come from? Uh, uh, research, resources. That's what YouTube is. So when you find yourself in that niche, and you got something that somebody want to watch, then you'll start winning. Next question on GTS three. I mean, three thousand four wants to know. Why don't truckers want to go? Uh, why don't truckers want to drive into New York City or California? Look, bruh. Bruh. Look, man. <laughs> NYC, Northeast, period. I drove up there. I thought it was. When I got into truck driving and I drove up into the Northeast for the very first time, I thought it was going to be exciting because I'm like, yo, I'm getting to go to New York City. I've been to New York City before. I've been to parts of the Northeast before. I get up there and the car is easy. The traffic is atrocious for a truck driver. Okay. I tell you, I kid you not. No, well. If you if you drive in New York City already, then okay, that's a given. But for a truck driver, a lot of narrow streets, a lot of one-way streets, a lot of a lot of a lot of traffic that's that's not truck friendly. Uh, a lot of areas you get stuck in, especially if you don't have the experience to drive in the Northeast. I wouldn't suggest you do it. I, if you want to do it, I highly suggest that you train with somebody that is very, very, very familiar with the Northeast, and particularly New York City and the five boroughs. Because when you go down there, you get stuck, and you just you end up you end up on Twisted Truckers or YouTube at the worst. You see what I'm saying? So New York City, no. Traffic down there, just atrocious for truck drivers. Now, if you want to do New York City, my advice to you is to do it at night. Go into New York City at night, come out of New York City at night. Because during the day, oh, you done. You stuck. You stuck. Anybody that drove New York City, leave the comments below, man, and let this young man know that New York City ain't no joke. All right? New York, now outside outside of new york yeah new jersey no uh connecticut no and another thing another thing about the northeast there's not that many there's there's not that much parking for truck drivers especially after a certain time you're pretty much done and you pretty much gonna have to find like literally find somewhere to park when you run out of time and you got a situation that you can't drive no more and you have to end up driving illegally yeah new york city does that california no same thing with new york city i mean new york the traffic is atrocious for truck drivers man have you ever drove in los angeles traffic it's not fun during the day it's not fun same thing with california you want to get in at night and leave at night <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's why a lot of drivers and plus their speed limit 55 oh man you add that on top of the frustration that's man that's crazy 55 come on now who drives 55 anymore 55 is not even marked on your on your speed odometer no more in new cars anyway anyway that's, in my opinion, that's why people, drivers, don't want to drive to New York City or California. Well, that's it, man. That's it. I'm glad you guys hummed out with me this morning. If you guys like videos like this and more, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and hit that 
bell for more videos like this. You know what I'm saying? This is on the 30, my daily vlog videos that I come out with. Make sure you guys uh, watch uh, on uh, the Make the Call videos, where I make the call for all these trucking companies to get information for you guys. Yes, you. Uh, the net, the one is up right now. You guys can check that out. And um, and yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, man, feel free to get at me, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can uh, email me. You can DM me at LockoutMen, LockoutMen at Gmail, and at Instagram at LockoutMen. And go to the Facebook page and look at and look for Lockout Men Makes the Call Group. All right, it's a very small group, a uh, very core group of people that's in there. We're not. I post like on a daily just to let you guys know what's coming next. But a few people in there talk, and I do appreciate the people in there that talk and all like that. Maybe I should start some moderating or something like that. But it's a small group, but I would like for you to join. It. Because if you have something on your mind, you can go there and ask. And if I don't, if I'm not able to answer it, then somebody else in the group will. All right, lockout man makes the call. Facebook, uh, Facebook, Facebook group. Make sure you look for it. All right. With that said, y'all, thank you for joining me once again. I really do appreciate it. And I will get at y'all in another video. Peace. Look at her butt.